wonderful day in the island of Zodor, Thomas and Percy were at the shunting yard. Gee, Wilkers, Percy, it was a lot of work putting those trucks in their proper areas. You said it, Thomas. But before the two engines can say anything else, Lexi appeared. Wow, Thomas and Percy, you guys did a really good job. Thanks, Lexi. Can you tell me, me and Percy a bedtime story tonight? Sure, if Sir Topham Hat lets me. Now, off you two go. Thanks, Lexi. Thanks, Lexi! No problem, you two. The next day, the three engines were shot. The shunting yard was destroyed. And there was nothing to do about it. Thomas, what happened? I don't know, Lexi, but whatever happened, someone must have done it. But then, Sir Emmett came. My, my, what happened here? That's the same question me, Percy, and Lexi were asking. Well, don't worry, Engines. I will send another Engine here to help you free. Really? 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 Yep. Now, the excuse me. I got lunch to do. Here I go! Wow, that was awkward. You can say that again, Thomas. Now, which was that engine's name again? Oh yeah, I think Sir Topham Hat said it was James. Here's James! Yeah. Sir Topham Hat told me to do this job? Ugh. Only three engines can do that work. James, wait! Ugh, now what, Thomas? We need help. Ugh, okay. But promise me this will never happen again. Now. What are we supposed to do? Um, I don't know. I can deliver passengers to the station because there's still passengers in Annie and Clarabelle. While Percy, James, and Lexi sort these trucks in their original perdition. And then I can come here and help you guys. Wow, that's a lot of work to do. You could say that again, Percy. <sighs> I don't think I'm in the mood right now. I'm I'm tired. You three can do the work while I take a nap. Okay, Lexi. And off Lexi went. Well. I got a branch line to do. Thomas, we're late! Oh, fizzling fireboxes! I gotta get there as fast as I can. So Thomas switched up lines. Ding! And Thomas backed up to Annie and Clarabel. Pee pee! And Aunt Thomas went. But then, Tidward came. Oh, hello, Percy and James. I would like to return this. So you two can put it in the sidings while I go do my jobs. Toodaloo! Aww. Thomas came back. Thomas elected. Hey, James, I have an idea. How about 
we can put these trucks on different siding. But I thought Lexi or Thomas said that we need to put them in their order. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to follow the rules. We can just, like, add some pizzazz. Well, you don't need to add pizzazz all the time, Percy. I know, but let's just figure this out, shall we? Ugh, okay. Wow, James, we did a really good job sorting out these cars. You said it, Percy. Now Thomas will be back here any minute by now. And Sir Topham Hat will give us a reward. But that's what they thought. But then there was trouble. Thomas was coming back from his job. Um, James? Yes, Percy? Thomas is coming right now, and he's gonna crash in one of the trucks! You're right, Percy! Run! Ah! Fizzling fireboxes! Thomas plied his brakes as hard as he can. And the coupling to Annie and Clarabelle snapped. No! But luckily, no one was hurt. But Thomas was damaged. Thomas's side rod fell out. Oh, fizzling fireboxes, said Thomas. I'm ruined. But then Lexi came. She looked bright and cheerful, but not for long. My, my, what happened? I was going too fast because I fought... I was going to go graduate Percy and James for sorting out all these trucks, but they put one of the trucks in the middle of the way. And now Sir Topham Hat is going to put me in the sheds and paint me red. Red? Now I'm going to teach him how splendid he will look when he's painted red. James! This is serious! Stop being selfish! You wanted that accident to happen because you told me the wrong thing? And I was gonna monitor you, but I was tired and needed to relax in the sheds. And you told me the wrong thing to do. Plus, you didn't even warn me if there was a truck in the way, and now I can't even move, all thanks to you. The argument continued until Emmett arrived. My, my, what happened? James didn't even warn me if there was a truck in my way, and Annie and Clarabelle, the coupling from me to Annie and Clarabelle snapped, and James didn't warn me. That's because he was selfish because he wanted the award. James? Uh oh. James, I can't believe you were selfish. I can't believe you were selfish so that way you can get the award. Same for you too, Percy and Lexi. But sir, Lexi was tired, and James told me to do the wrong thing. I didn't know that Thomas was coming. Hmm, it could have been the snow's fault, or the point's fault, or James's fault. 
but I will talk to Santa about it since he knows what happened. And James, if you tell the truth, that means you can get your prize. But if you tell me a lie, that means you will get coal for Christmas. But sir, if Santa gives James coal, then that means it's a good thing because engines run on coal and water. I have to agree with Thomas, sir. Well, since you guys are so smart, then that means that James will have to get bad coal that won't make him run. I'm sorry, sir. It's okay, James. But we all make mistakes sometimes. The end.